When I was at the NIH, I worked with Manning Feinlieb, and he would always say things like, well, if we had blood pressure measurements in childhood, how could we figure out if a child would mm -hmm. be a hypertensive adult? Things like that. So I was interested in the life course and how uh, biomarkers change over, your, over the course of your life. And so when I met with Frank, he started putting up the classic figures showing the growth and decline of pulmonary function, how cigarette smoking might impact it and so on. And my eyes just got as big as saucers because it was exactly the sort of problem I was interested in. And so with the tremendous enthusiasm, I said, yes, I'd love to be part of this. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was really the transformative event in my career, being part of the Six City study. I, I think of, this, of that st paper as the seed, in a way. I mean, that now the... The tree has bloomed, and there are so many wonderful extensions, adaptations. So when you see people doing longitudinal analysis now, it's often more sophisticated than, usually more sophisticated than our initial simple mixed, uh, mixed models, growth curve models that were the core of that initial paper. So uh, I, I think of it, I, I see the field as really, you know, evolved in a wonderful way. Now, in terms of of uh, when did we realize our paper would have an impact. I think we knew that it was a nice contribution because it received a lot of attention and we gave short courses and spoke at the meetings and so on. But uh, in terms, and I do think it was a, it's certainly the, the most significant paper I've ever been, I was associated with it in my career. And I think, you know, it takes a few years for you to look back and say, gee, I'm, I'm proud of that paper, you know. Jeff said to me the other day, uh, we were talking, Jeff Drazen, the editor, uh, I hope you won't mind me saying this, he said to me, Jim, one of the things I appreciate about you is I, I appreciate the way you balance the importance and the rigor of the work, that we always, in, we often have to make a judgment about well, this paper is not perfect, it's got certain flaws, but does the message it conveys, is it right, and is it important enough that we're going to publish it despite its limitations? Uh, they granted us the authority to have a PhD program in biostatistics. So now we have, at that for then up until Dean Frank's tenure, we had two PhD programs and they've both done well and are well regarded by the university. And it's not only the PhD programs themselves, but it shows that scholarship in public health has the same stature mm -hmm. intellectually as scholarship in the other fields recognized right. for the PhD degree. So that was an important, important step toward recognition of the work we do at the School of Public Health. So as, advi as to advice to the next uh, <laughs> leaders of our school, I would not be so bold. That uh, we did our best, we tried to make the school stronger and better, and uh, I think on the whole we achieved that, although uh, nothing is ever perfect, but I think the derivative was the correct one, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I wish the very best to the next uh, set of leaders mm -hmm. of our school. So, uh, from my perspective, meeting Nan was the most important event in my professional life, I think, because it transformed my career. That uh, when I met Nan, she had the, the insight, the creativity, the, the methodologic background to just bring my aspirations to fruition and to bring the, my, the quality of my work up to an entirely different level and we had this wonderful laboratory of data that we could work with. And so that was, that made all the difference for me. And it was just a blessing. And I, Nan, I feel blessed to have had you as a colleague all those years and how much I learned from you. Your own 
own career is so shaped by your own your own knowledge and skills. And part of that is mutable. It's the, if you work hard, you learn things. Right. But part of it's a gift. Yep. And that people have different gifts. And so getting in tune with what you can do well yep. and then trying to build on that. And I wouldn't say that I had particular... Why, I wasn't particularly wise about that. I just followed my nose, kind of. But I was lucky that I just kept... I do feel it was a lot of good fortune that I wandered into wonderful opportunities one after another, you know.